It's two teams with really contrasting ambitions today for Liverpool. It's the chance to top the Premier League table, to cash in on a big moment of uncertainty perhaps for Manchester City. It's been plain sailing for them only when the Reds have fallen short. Things appear to be on the change. For Crystal Palace, they need to halt their alarming slide. Just one point from their last four is relegation form and the locals are starting to get restless. Alexis McAllister won't be risked for this here. He had stitches in a cut he sustained early on at Sheffield United. They'll treat that with kid gloves with all the games coming thick and fast. Alison Becker was a welcome sight in training again. An even bigger surprise sight getting off the team bus an hour and a half ago. And he is in Liverpool's side again, back in between the sticks. Five changes in all. Gerald Kwanzaa comes in at the heart of Liverpool's defence alongside Virgil van Dijk. Costa Simicast returns. Endo keeps his place. It's a Salah Diaz Nunes front line for Liverpool. Where Palace are concerned, as well as their current problems, they also have half a team missing of their notable absentees, the Corre, Eze, Tyrick Mitchell, their left back added to the casualty list with a muscle problem midweek. Roy Hodgson says they've had to be careful also with Michael Elise, who will sit on the bench for at least the start of this one. Hodgson Edward carries their goal burden. Six of the 14 they've scored so far have come from him. Massive afternoon for young Gerald Kwanzaa. Yeah, and an opportunity to really show what he's, what he's about. I think we've seen already that he's more than capable of coming in. Costa Simicast fancies one from distance here. And uh, on that left foot of his, it did open up that space, but it's been a long time since he's experienced that goal-scoring feeling. Still looking for his first Liverpool goal. Doesn't count his FA Cup winning uh, penalty as a, as a goal in Liverpool colours. Crystal Palace get men behind the ball, making it difficult for Liverpool. Asking Liverpool questions, isn't it? Can you come and break us down? Once touch pass it from Crystal Palace to get out. Edward is the furthest man forward. Are you just trying to find that angle for him? Gets that run to the near post, and it's a save from Alison Becker. Keeps it out wonderfully well. Somehow, Liverpool survive by the brilliance of their. Brazilian number one, biggest opportunity of the game so far. Well, all the possession and all the hard work and intensity Liverpool have shown in the early stages of the game could have been wiped out by that effort on goal. And you wonder why you bring the world's best goalkeeper back in? Well, it's for saves like that, absolutely incredible. given the, uh, the set play there, and Crystal Palace could be in, it's a penalty, is it? Yes. Virgil van Dijk with a tangle of legs, confusion and slight relief, I guess, as well, that it's the colour of yellow. They're going to take a look at it, obviously. I mean, if that's not a free kick, I don't know what is. There's similar kind of challenges, to be quite honest with you. Well... Is there contact? I'm not sure there is, to be honest with you. And he's going to take a look at the screen, which normally suggests that the decision will be overturned. Some reluctance to change the penalty decision. Well, I think the initial thing is that the fact that he didn't give it initially is probably playing on his mind a little bit. He said no goal, but it's no penalty, and also the yellow card will be rescinded as well. Just about to say how well they've closed those spaces. Liverpool have just really struggled to find any pocket of creativity. Soboslai to Salah. Alexander Arnold. Four players back there in and around Mo Salah. Crossing opportunity maybe now, and Salah takes it first time. Soboslai with the shot on again, it's a body that's just diving in front of the shot on goal and again it's Will Hughes who is involved again. Both shots from Salah and Soboslai, just so many blue and red jerseys between them and the actual goal. Ward has to be precise with it and is. Johnston saw Will Hughes still advanced as well, Will Hughes cross again. 
it's clear from Kwanzaa, Mateta felt he was fouled by Kwanzaa as just a halt in play. There's something being checked here by uh, the match official. And the mere fact that the referee Andy Madley is already at the screen would suggest that perhaps he's going to award them with a penalty here. Big moment, both for him and Liverpool. So Mateta, the Crystal Palace super sub over the penalty and rolls it into the net of Alisson Becker who will have to wait a bit longer for his first clean sheet away from Anfield this season. It's Crystal Palace who take the lead in the opening exchanges of this second half. It can be one of the most impressive of atmospheres in the whole of the Premier League when things are going well for them. They need a turn in luck, the manager needs a turn in luck against his old club, Crystal Palace, with that second half lead. Alexander Arnold waits and gets it clear. Liverpool, maybe an opportunity here for Harvey Elliott. Foul by Jordan Ayew. He had to think about it, the referee, and it's going to be a second yellow card for Jordan Ayew, who thought he'd got away with it. But all of a sudden now, with 15 minutes remaining, Palace will have to play with 10 men. Been some decent comebacks in the past couple of seasons. They need another one here. Gomez to Gakpo. Stands one up. Chance maybe for Curtis Jones and then Salah. It might have been pulled back for a penalty in the end on Curtis Jones, but that is Mo Salah's 200th Liverpool goal. Generational brilliance. A legend in plain sight. He won't be one bit bothered about that record at this very moment in time, Mo Salah. All that matters is Liverpool are batting the, back in the game. And it's that man again, Mo Salah, with also his 150th Premier League goal. Well, no sooner have Crystal Palace gone down to 10 men than they get punished. It was on target, it will be given to Salah as a goal, but it certainly takes a massive deflection off Nathaniel Klein. But what it does do, it gives Liverpool a lifeline. They're right back in the game now. Crystal Palace didn't even get the chance to reorganise, having gone down to 10 men. A really, really big time to score the goal. Is there still one last chance for Liverpool to win it? 10 minutes will be added on. More than enough time. Harvey Elliott! More than enough time. He really needed that. His first of the season, Liverpool's little diamond could have just put them top of the Premier League table. Goalkeeper fresh from the bench, gets caught a little bit flat-footed, probably expected to go the other side. More often than not, left-footers coming in from a right-hand angle will bend it into the far corner, not on this occasion, Harvey Elliott drifts forward here. There's only one place he can actually hit it because the defenders get in his way that's the only angle that he's got to get it on target, and he picks the right option. And Liverpool, well, have they rescued this? I think he's extremely unlucky not to be making more regular starts, but if you're on the bench, the one thing that you can do to influence the manager is come on and make an impact, and certainly that's what the young man has done on numerous occasions going through his veins now and he might have provided the winner for Luis Diaz and the flag has interrupted the celebration of course it will be looked at but it was Harvey Elliott playing creator it's tight what he say tries to find a way there's white and green all around him though but he was fouled by Luis Diaz Diaz will be booked as well. And Elise will take the set play and look how many bodies Crystal Palace have pushed forward now. It's the one last chance for them. 
Elise's ball in. It's Anderson at the back post. It's a big, big save once again from Liverpool's key man on so many occasions like this, Alison Becker. Might have been offside, but certainly Alison Becker's not going to know that. And Liverpool cap what was a really tricky afternoon at Crystal Palace with all three points here. But you wonder how big a moment this might be for Jurgen Klopp's team. But it's a big afternoon. It's an afternoon that sends Liverpool to the top of the Premier League table. Harvey Elliott! More than enough time. He really needed that. His first of the season.